be spawned from here okay okay as you can see it's gone it has been destroyed when we uh, reach uh, max health zero okay so without furthering delay let's dive into this topic okay so what we gonna do uh, we gonna assign player max health okay we gonna assign player max health okay so what we need to do we need to open up the player script and we gonna uh, tag this uh, saw to saw okay so whenever we collide with this uh, saw okay we're gonna take damage and we're gonna respawn from a point okay so what we need to do firstly we need to assign the player max health okay so in the top go to top and assign an integer value of max health okay so we're gonna do public okay public int we will call max okay max health max health you can set it by default let's say we're gonna set it to five unit okay five health okay five unit health so what we're gonna do we're gonna take damage whenever we collide with this saw so we need to attack this saw as a saw okay so what we need to do just wait for to compile we're gonna select the saw and we're gonna add a tag okay we're gonna add a tag uh, so just wait for to compile okay uh, as you can see importing assets just wait for that uh, so just wait for that we're gonna assign the saw uh, we tag saw we need to uh, we need to go to inspector okay then we need to select the tag okay just wait for to compile just wait for to compile it's taking too much time for my laggy computer okay that's the reason uh, just wait for to compile so we're gonna we're gonna also make the take damage function okay we're gonna also make the take damage function okay uh, take damage whenever we take damage we're gonna uh, whenever we call the take damage function we're gonna subtract one unit health uh, from the player okay from the max health okay so okay now it's now it's compiling as you can see we can see the max health uh, property okay as you can see we set it to five unit by default so what we're gonna do we're gonna select this case saw game object okay we're gonna tag this as a saw so what we need to do go to inspector okay and as you can see tag just click that and add tag uh, so hit the plus icon and name the tag to saw something like saw okay saw and save it okay and head back to again to that game object object okay and then assign the uh, short tag okay and assign select the short tag okay go over to saw game object and uh, assign the saw okay now we have tagged this uh, saw to saw game object so what we gonna do uh, so we gonna head back to uh, head back to uh, head back to clear script okay a player script so over here as you can see void on collision enter 2d this function get call when uh, when we collide with something okay when the player will collide with this saw okay uh, when we collide with something anything else okay uh, something so we're gonna call uh, this function get trigger okay this function get trigger so we're gonna check okay we're gonna check if if other okay other dot uh, dot collider dot tag is equals equals to saw okay so so what we are doing over here whenever this function over here void on collision enter 2d function get call when some uh, when we collide with something and we are checking if the collider has a tag of saw okay uh, so as as we know we tag this uh, saw as a get, uh, saw game object so so this uh, this uh, over here whatever you write between between these curly brackets okay it will execute so let's suppose lay save debug dot log we're gonna say player takes damage okay player takes one damage one damage like like that sorry damage okay so this function control s okay 
so this function get call when we collide with something and we are checking if okay if we collided with our uh, if the collider okay collider uh, collider has a, a tag so okay so what we are doing we are printing out this message on the console okay player takes one damage so control s on your keyboard to head and head back to unity so you will able to see whenever we collide with this game object okay show game object uh, we will print out that message okay uh, because we uh, tag uh, we tag this uh, show to as a show game object and we are checking if we colliding with the uh, show game object tag okay so just wait for to compile okay and go to console if you can find the console just go to window then general okay and you will find uh, you will able to find the console tab okay if you lose somehow okay so so what we're gonna do we're gonna hit play we're gonna see if it's working or not in the last video we said this uh, movement to up and down okay so in this video we are checking if we are colliding with this game object or not if we are doing then we're gonna uh, we're gonna printing out that message as you can see player takes one damage as you as you can see it pops out pops out sorry pop up so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a take damage function okay take damage function whenever we collide with this show game object we're gonna call that function and that function will subtract okay by one unit from max health okay so 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 at the end the player will die okay when the max health hits zero so what we're gonna do we're gonna head over to scripts once again so we're gonna make over here make over here so we need to to make a function we need to we're gonna call uh, we're gonna make it public okay we're gonna make it public because we're gonna call from another place as well so public and we need to type void okay void for function and you can uh, you you also need to name that function so we're gonna name this to take damage take damage okay take damage and it will uh, it will take we're gonna pass uh, pass a damage value so this will be integer okay integer we will call damage by the way we will replace uh, this one later okay with one unit or two units so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna subtract okay max health minus equal damage okay max health minus equal damage so whenever we call this function okay uh, we we, uh, we will subtract by uh, this amount of uh, this amount so let's suppose a uh, damage we said to one okay so max health is five so five minus one becomes four okay and again if we are calling then four minus one it will be true and let's let's suppose one more time we are calling so three minus one which will be uh, two so where it will somehow hit zero so we're gonna need to check okay if max health okay max health is lesser than or equal to zero zero okay zero so what are we gonna do we're gonna return where this basically means if we hit the max health zero okay let's suppose max health is zero so we are not going uh, we are not going to subtract anymore because uh, max health already became zero so let's suppose we don't write this return so it will be minus one uh, minus one which will uh, be below uh, below this zero which will be a negative value that's why we are returning when we hit the max cell to zero unit okay so it will own uh, so after return basically means after uh, after return it will not uh, this uh, this over here will not call okay this line will not be execute okay so when we hit the max health zero so what are we gonna do we're gonna call this function okay we're gonna call this function over here when we collide when we collide with the saw uh, this uh, saw game object okay this saw game object so what we are going to do uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're not gonna print out the message we're gonna call the function so we have to uh, call the function take damage as a parameter you can pass one okay so we are uh, what we are doing we are replacing this damage parameter by one you can so it will subtract by one unit let's suppose you put 
air two so it will subtract of uh, by two units so max health let's suppose max health is five five minus two which will be three but we are subtracting by one unit as you can see we uh, pass the pa as a parameter one unit okay so uh, it will subtract by one unit whenever the whenever we collide uh, this uh, this function get call trigger okay and this function will subtract our max health by one unit and control s on your keyboard okay control s on your keyboard and add back to unity okay you will able to see when we collide with the saw uh, the take damage function will call and the tape take damage function will uh, subtract one unit from max health okay 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 and uh, what we gonna do when we he gonna uh, when the max health became zero we gonna uh, we gonna oh, we gonna end the game okay so before that if we play okay if we play we need to test if it's working or not okay if it's working or not we need to test just wait for to compile uh, uh, as you can see max health is 5 okay max health is 5 okay so let's suppose we uh, we collide with as you can see max health max health became 4 if we again uh, collide max health becomes 3 okay let's suppose one more time as you can see max health became 2 okay and uh, one more time as you can see max health is 1 uh, and one more time as you can see max health is zero but uh, when we uh, collide will uh, max uh, our saw it own go to negative equal value because we typed return return basically means after that line uh, uh, that uh, this over here max health minus equal damage won't get call okay uh, so uh, when we hit the uh, zero okay we are not calling and uh, this line won't get call because we typed return over here as you can see so what we gonna do uh, when we collide with this game object okay so uh, we gonna respawn okay we gonna respawn respawn over here okay over here so we need to make a, a spawn point position so what we gonna do we gonna we gonna we gonna make right click on the hierarchy okay right click on the hierarchy create empty game object name name that game object player spawn position something like that player spawn position okay position player spawn position okay and go to tra transform component of that game object right click and reset okay and select an icon let's say i'm gonna select the red one and select the move tool over here we're gonna drag it over here so from this point uh, the player will spawn when we take damage okay when when we gonna take damage by one unit we're gonna respawn from this position so we're gonna we need to move it little more down okay so what we're gonna head over to uh, script okay so take damage over here after taking damage we're gonna spawn uh, spawn from this uh, this position so what we need we need this position transform okay we need this position so what we need to do we need to create and fill so we need to do in uh, need to do in player script okay so head over to player script and create an empty empty field okay transform empty field so we'll public transform okay public transform we uh, we you can call it spawner okay spawn position something like that or player spawn position we will uh, leave it as it is okay player spawn position so what are we gonna do so uh, uh, so after taking damage okay we're gonna do transform okay transform dot position transform dot position over here means the current position okay and we're gonna set it to our spawn position okay spawn position dot position and end up with semicolon okay transform dot position means current position and after taking damage we are setting the current position to uh, that spawn position okay so we also need to drag okay if we head over to unity we will able to see an empty field of transform appear spawn position okay so we need to drag this player spawn position to that field so we will spawn from that po uh, from that position okay so just wait for to compile just wait for to compile okay 
just wait for to compile uh, uh, as you can see spawn position appear so what we need to do we need to drag the player spawn position this player spawn position uh, to that field so we gonna spawn from this position when we collide uh, collide with this saw okay so uh, we are setting transform over here as you can see transform dot position means the current position and we are setting it to spawn position dot position means that uh, that position okay uh, we drag it to that okay so what are we gonna do we're gonna play and we will see if it's working or not when we collide with the saw it will subtract one unit health okay and we're gonna spawn from this position this position okay so let's stage this okay our max health is five let's suppose as you can see uh, we uh, max health becomes four and we spawn from this position let's do this one more one more time as you can see we spawn from this position okay so let's do okay so what are we gonna do when we hit zero okay when we hit zero uh, we uh, we're gonna say player died okay we're gonna destroy the player game object so what we need to do so uh, over here as you can see uh, this function uh, get call okay whenever we collide with the saw uh, and over here we are checking if max health is lesser than equal to zero so what we're gonna do uh, before that we're gonna print out a message okay debug dot log uh, let's say player diet okay player diet uh, so what we are doing if max health uh, became uh, lesser than or equal to zero okay uh, means we don't have any more health so what are we printing out in the console player diet message and we are saying return after after this event this line won't get called when we hit uh, max health zero okay after uh, that's why we uh, typed return over here after return it this line on get call okay control s on your keyboard and add back to unity you will able to see when when our max health becomes zero uh, the message will print out in the console player diet okay player diet message will print out in the console so uh, uh, so just wait for to compile okay just wait for to compile uh, just wait for to compile okay so let's suppose we're gonna set max health to 2 uh, so because we need to check okay uh, uh, pretty fast that's why we set it to max health to 2 okay whenever take damage function get call it will subtract by one unit from max health okay Oh, sorry it's already compiled let's say if we collide with okay we collided with and if we collide with mo one more time so it's not calling it's not calling okay so what we need to do instead of uh, doing over here okay instead of doing over here we will do it update function because update function get call every time so we need to uh, we need to uh, check every single frame so that will be accurate okay so instead of doing the uh, uh, we're gonna check over here in the update function if max health okay max health is lesser than or equal to zero okay we're gonna do this sorry i just missed so we're gonna do debug okay debug dot log something like player tie it okay player tie it so control s on your keyboard and head back to unity so why we did in that uh, update function because we need to check every single frame so that will be accurate okay that will be accurate so that's why we are doing it update function we are checking every single frame if max health is lesser than or uh, or equal to zero okay so we are checking every single frame so that's why that will be accurate so now if we clear the console and if we hit play okay if we collide with this uh, show uh, the that function get call take damage function get call okay and take damage function will subtract uh, from max health by one unit okay so now if we play one 
and two as you can see because update function get call every single time that's why you are able to see the player diet message uh, too many times because update function get calls every single frame okay so what we gonna do uh, we gonna do instead of in, uh, instead of printing out the message we gonna destroy this game object okay so okay we gonna destroy this game object so what we gonna do we gonna go over to here okay instead of printing out message we gonna destroy this game object so we need to type this function okay destroy okay destroy this okay this dot game object okay this dot game object and control s on your keyboard and head back to unity okay you will able to see when we collide with the saw where two times uh, the player will get uh, destroyed because we set the max health by two unit okay so what we need to do we're gonna destroy the game object and uh, we're gonna also also include particle effect when the player get destroyed in the next video okay we will do that so if we hit play okay if we hit play we will able to see player will uh, destroy uh, if the player uh, collide with this saw two times okay as you can see we set the max health by default to okay one time and two time as you can see the player get destroyed but as you can see uh, we are getting an error it's saying the object of type transform has been de destroyed but you so we made it a follow script okay follow script we are checking okay we are checking over here so if we go to a uh, player okay player we are setting our camera position okay camera uh, x position we are setting to player x position okay but when we destroy the player game object the player uh, is no is not anymore in the scene view or the or the game so but we are still uh, trying to get the player position over here as you can see as you can see we are setting our camera x direction to player position in the x okay we are still trying to get the player okay but uh, but we are destroyed that player game object okay in the scene view when we collide with two times with this saw so what we need to do over here okay over here we will check if okay if i uh, if uh, something like find okay find object of type okay find sorry find object of type okay find object of type and type this player okay player and make this uh, brackets if it's equals equals to null okay we're gonna return we're gonna return this basically means it will check every single frame okay if the game uh, game object of player has been destroyed okay means if it's equals equals to null if it's not anymore in the scene so we're gonna return so this uh, this o line over here on get call okay so control s on your keyboard and head back to unity okay when we destroy the player game object the camera follow script or uh, 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 stop running because we destroyed the player we are setting it return okay after return that own get call so just wait for to compile ah. compile and if we hit play okay if we ah. hit play we will able to see okay we will able to see the uh, the error will be gone okay the error will be gone so if we go over here to one time two time as you can see we can see the anymore the error okay so if so if you uh, if you are new to my channel then you can subscribe it for future game development tutorials okay you also can support me on patreon.com okay i have a link in the description as well if you enjoyed this video just give a thumbs up and uh, and lastly thanks for watching this video okay goodbye